A new exhibit called The Fossil Wall is now on display at the Da Vinci Science Center. The exhibit is a visual expression of the union of art and science. It's a permanent piece and it's an educational piece, hopefully, that students can look at and enjoy uh, as they come in there. 21 wood and metal designs have been compiled by Ackerman to create the Fossil Wall exhibit. The inspiration comes from fossils that are as old as 300 million years ago. And I saw these fossils when I was at Penn State, and I uh, decided that I would make a metal piece that uh, would uh, represent in a design form these particular uh, images. And so I did it with steel and with brazing and bronze and put it together and ultimately made a wall. Uh, back in the late 60s, I made this wall. Uh, after I made the wall in, in 1987, the wall was taken down and the pieces of seal that it was on, I recycled re, uh, this and came up with the images that are there now, which then we then incorporated for the piece that goes up the wall. It was in storage from 1987 up until now, and it was then that I cut the pieces out and was inspired by this building to try to do something where I could mount them so people could see the connection between art and science. That was my whole motive. And of course, the uh, administration here and the board was very agreeable to that. And so I was able to make a piece funded by the state. Ackerman hopes this exhibit will give children an appreciation for both art and science. I think one of the saddest things is that we don't see the relationship between art and science very much. I would like kids who love science to say, oh, here's something in art that I could do, or here's something in art that an artist saw and recreated, because it's really a matter of recreation. Whatever an artist does really isn't that total creation. It's that they recreate what they see, what they feel, and what their emotions are related to something. The Da Vinci Science Center believes this exhibit is a great addition, and they are thrilled to have it on display. It fits in very well. Once we put that up and we, we got a look at it, we really started thinking about the art that's within all of the science, all of the exhibits that we have here. So we started looking around it, I think with a, a new appreciation for some of the exhibits, seeing the art that's inside, whether that's with, with our bioscape exhibits that we have up, whether that's even with the, with the touch tank, looking at just some of the some of the animals that are in there and you know some of the some of the plants that are inside our touch tank and really seeing the art inside the science. So I think this fits in very well.